Alright, welcome back. So I just finished a morning of trading here on my own and I wanted to take this opportunity to show you if you're using TradeStation like I am and you want to make your chart review process more uh, easy and streamlined. Um, I have pages of notes of what I, I did in my trading today, but I'm going to show you how you can use the chart trading feature. And if you set up your charts like mine with the white background, I'm gonna show you how you can edit what's showing to make it easier to see, okay? So first I'm gonna show you the before and the after, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the change. So here on this three minute chart, if I go in the white space and I click chart trading, it will show the charts, trades that I made today, okay? So you can see there's a bunch of entries, exits, etc. Now on this white background, these thin light blue lines are extremely hard to read. Um, the fact that they're dashed makes them hard to read. So I actually prefer to study and review my three minute trades, um, not only in the three minute chart, but also on that 15 second chart that I use as a lower time frame. So I'm just gonna tab over to my 15 second chart and show you the after. So this is what I would prefer that your chart trading looks like for making it easier to study. I think it is obvious that with the green, we can see winning trades more easily and them being solid lines, we can see them more easily. And with the red, we can see losing trades more easily. All right. So how do you get to this? That's the question. So let's go back to the three minute chart and I'll show you how you make the change. So first thing you do is go to settings and go to account orders and positions. This will bring you to this data panel and then over here in settings is where we're going to make changes. So here on filled trades, because this is for after the fact, display position arrows, that will show you these little arrows here, okay. and then customize. So it's in this customize window that we're going to make several changes. Here you can change what type of arrow you're using. I'm perfectly fine with this little arrow with the little uh, thingy uh, circle underneath, but you can make a change. What's more important to me is color, because if you've been following me even for a short time, you know I'm a very color-oriented gal. It helps me just understand my data more quickly. So for me, this light blue does not equate to a profitable trade, okay? <clears throat> Green is for winning. It's not necessarily for buying, but it's for winning. So if we do this and we have a winning trade to the downside, it's still going to show in green. So if that's something you can jive with, that a winning trade to the upside or downside will show a green line, then I suggest coming in, not using this bright, bright green, it's hard to see in a white background, but hitting other and then picking one of these greens down here. So any one of these that has a little bit more uh, depth and like meat to it. So right now in TradeStation, those individual uh, colors on this like honeycomb don't have a name. You could go custom and do a hex code, but that's not really necessary. Just pick a green that suits you. So this green looks pretty good to me, pretty solid. Hit okay. I like leaving unprofitable trade colors red. That makes it easy to distinguish. Now I do like having a line to connect the, uh, to uh, reversal and entry, but I want to make this a solid line. I'm also going to kick up the weight of the line to the second weight here. So you can see that I went from the one to the two. All right, this is going to make all of this a lot easier to read. Okay, so we actually need to also do this on the second side before we proceed. So we have to do the same exact things on the exits. Pick whatever arrow you want, change the color. Again, I'm just gonna pick a green that's in the zip code of a darker green. On profitable trade, still red, and then change these lines to a solid line and then weight number two. So you have to change it for both entries and exits if you want it to uh, make it really easy to review. Okay, so hit OK, then hit OK again. And now you can see these values have changed. Now on a three minute chart, because there's less data in between the trades I was making, it's gonna be hard to really distinguish. But we can take this time frame and change it to 15 second, or we can just do this same exercise on the 15 second chart, which I've done. That's what you saw as the previous after picture. So let me go ahead and change this here to 15 second. Okay, we're not using this to chart, uh, to trade the charts, we're just using this to study our trades. And now I'm gonna go back in time, and now you can see with great detail, I can see in between 
I'm just removing my analysis, but I'm leaving the trades. I can see all the things. So this is a great way for you to review your trades after you are done for the session. It makes it a lot easier than trying to come and draw in lines and things after the fact. And if you change those settings and you like them, then you can set them as default and you won't have to worry about changing them ever again. So I hope that's helpful in uh, you being able to pull the most review value and educational value out of your TradeStation charts if you happen to use TradeStation like I do, and I'll catch you soon.